Hi, how are you? How are you? You know, I have been developing and validating a new method in our lab recently. I evaluated the process efficiency and the results are not okay. Uh, in order to get to the root of the problem, I evaluated recovery and matrix effect separately. Okay. Recovery is close to 100% and therefore acceptable. Okay. However, I observe severe matrix effect. Have you got any suggestions what I could do to improve my method? Well, you know that matrix effect is caused by the matrix components that coalute with your analyte. Mm -hmm. So you could either try to reduce the amount of these components with sample preparation or try separating these components with chromatography. How many analytes do you have? Well, I am analyzing about 100 pesticides in various matrices. Oh, then I think you can't do much with the chromatography. Because when you separate the matrix components from some of your analyte, analytes, they start coaluting with other analytes and may still cause severe matrix effect. Okay, then this leaves me with the possibility to try a sam different sample preparation? Yeah, for example, you could uh, try to add a cleanup step to your sample preparation or maybe test a different SP column. Well, I'm using the catcher's liquid-liquid extraction method, so maybe I could try a different cleanup sorbent to reduce the matrix component. Yeah, for example. Or you could also try out the dilution. Well, with dilution, you reduce the concentration of your matrix components and therefore may also reduce the matrix effect. Okay, but doesn't the sample dilution increase my limit of detection? Not necessarily. Sometimes the matrix effect is so severe that with dilution you even reduce the LODs. For example, I have had cases where I don't observe a, a chromatographic peak for my analytes for the original sample, but when I dilute the sample, the peak suddenly appears and I can even carry out the quantitative analysis for this sample. And you can also use dilution if you're in your everyday work. For example, you can inject both the original sample and the diluted sample. And if the calculated concentrations for these samples agree, you can be sure that matrix effect did not influence your analysis. Okay, that's interesting. But what do you think? Could I also go for matrix match calibration? In general, yes. But you mentioned that you are analyzing various matrices. So, yeah, as you know, matrix effect may vary stro strongly between different samples. Not only between tomato and apple, but also between different varieties of apples, for example. Therefore, I think it's not a good solution in your case. Okay. Then I will try to improve my sap sample preparation and also try the dilution to reduce the matrix effect of my method. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good luck.